I just want to throw basketballs in. Somehow get it in? Holy Goodest of mornings and sweetest of evenings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the Huckleberry Jones, and welcome back to... Oh, God, not again. <laughs> we're back, and we're playing Phasmophobia, and uh, you know what? I want to give a big shout-out to all of you for making the first episode so fantastic. So many of you were just like, uh, yes, more, please. I demand. So to anybody new here, here's a, here's a little bit of a refresher. Okay, so you might be wondering, like, what? Okay, I closed this door when I went in here, and it was automatically opened by the time I came back. I'm like, whoa! All right, we're going back in. I wonder if it's because the lights were on. Nah, I don't know. Holy fuck! Not very interesting, really. <laughs> but as I said, many of you seriously enjoyed the last episode, and uh, I loved making it. It was a lot of fun, uh, especially the uh, the edits. <laughs> I'm actually getting uh, getting pretty dang good at editing, and I, I know that there's like still some flaws, and I'm I'm trying really hard to like add even more edits. The problem is they take so long to make, but you know what? It's it's fun, you know. And what matters the most is that all of you enjoy it, um, except Connor. God damn it, dude, every time. So two important things I wanted to mention. Uh, number one is that I ended up getting the keyboard problem fixed. I'm using a new keyboard right now, and you guys probably don't even hear me touching it. Or maybe I'm putting a little bit too much force intentionally. But <laughs> and the second thing is that uh, I want to remind you all that in the last episode I mentioned I was going to skip ahead of the walk cycle from the truck over to the house. That way it doesn't have to be as, you know, like long and excruciating because the, the majority of the fun in playing this game and showing it to people is that it's in the house <laughs> me walking and talking as fun as it might seem to some it's not that entertaining <laughs> so while i end up grabbing stuff i'm going to just skip ahead and probably do like a little monologue in between maybe i'll even fast forward it and speed it up that way all right so rules go as follows again i gotta find i don't even know why i turned that on <laughs> we gotta find the generator we gotta close all the doors around us. Well, that's what I do, at least, because if a door opens, and you know it wasn't you, does it even make a noise? No. But a ploink. If we find all the doors, and we close them, and doors start opening, then we, we know that they're around somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> over the spook bow. There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with kerosene. Okay, so I decided as well, aside from the Ouija board that we got in the last episode, I'm going to try and find some more uh, of the cursed possessions. I'm going to try and find maybe the summoning circle, maybe the uh, the tarot cards, who entirely knows. But I want to find something. I want to find some... Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gone. I'm like, um... Yeah, I just want to find something that we could uh, we could try out. And I still haven't tried out the tarot cards or the summoning circle, or, um, I never really got to get, uh, try out the, the, what's it called? The, the dummy. <laughs> the voodoo doll, that's the one. But I do want to try it out sometime. That could be kind of cool. Alright. Man. What makes it even creepier is when they added it in that, uh, some of the doors just stay open now. Y it, it can get kind of difficult to, like, not feel... I guess you could say, like, intimidated but scared to go to a certain location. Because, for all I know, the ghost could be in that room, you know? Or in any of the other doors that you just opened up and closed. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's interesting. It adds that extra layer of fear, I find. Uh, man, I kind of wish there was a light right there for the stairwell. But, you know, added spooks, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to add salt. I'm going to add it to their, <laughs> to their stockpile of... Oh, come on. <laughs> their stockpile of stuff. Ah, oh, come on. Let's put salt on their eggs. Yeah, there you go. Salt on their eggs. Wait a minute. Was that always there? It wasn't. It wasn't. I had a feeling, and I was right. Holy shit. So that is one of the cursed possessions. I'm going to show you guys what it's all about in a second, but, uh... Okay, I, I had a feeling that wasn't there. If that doesn't prove... <laughs> How much of this game I fucking play, I don't know what does. I kind of want to take a look at the uh, the mirror right now. I want to see if... Oh, I saw that. All right, hold on. Are you kidding me? That's the garage for sure. Oh, no. Don't do this. 
Alright, take a picture of the mirror. It's the garage. It's definitely the garage for sure. Oh, fuck. Okay, I gotta go check my sanity really quickly because I want to make sure I have no idea how fast it drains. But that uh, that mirror, basically, as you can tell, it, uh, it'll allow you to peer into the ghost's room and find out exactly, oh my god. I, uh, I would have gotten destroyed if I was in there for any any longer. So, from what I can tell, when you're usually below 60%, like somewhere in that region, that's when you can be a little concerned about ghost hunts. That's bad. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I'm glad I ha I know where it is now, but... Okay, there's one. Oh, Jesus, I got used to it. <laughs> We are playing on professional, by the way, so it is bound to happen. Man, the ghost really screwed with us there. That's for sure. So, the lights are now turned off, and, uh, <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there, though. Just don't get pissed off, ghost. Who's a good noodle? You're a good noodle. You've always been a good noodle. Don't let your good noodle privileges go to waste now. That's kind of new, actually. Huh. I don't recall there being photos down here on the bulletin board. I recall it being empty. <laughs> Very empty. All right, here we go. It's time to start bringing stuff into the garage. This ghost is a bit more shy than usual. If it really... Okay. Oh, okay. Now, I shouldn't have said anything, should I? Looks like we do got fingerprints, though. So I am okay with that. All right. <sighs> Fuck off. <laughs> what if it just, like, hit the ghost off the head? Just like... Oh! All right, what do we have for objectives, actually? Salt, candle... EMF. Okay, it's Elizabeth Wilson. Alright, it's a pleasure to meet you. I hope you're kinder than the other ones. I know that I said you were shy, and then you were like, No, no, it's fine, serious. She is quite the sweetheart. I'm, I'm gonna jinx myself, just watch. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, she's great. Aw, oh, freezing temperatures. Okay, I get it, I get it. You want me gone, you want me out of here. You just... You, you, you have demands. <laughs> and you want them met. Guess what? Well met to you, ma'am. Have a good evening. Okay, so we got fingerprints and freezing temperatures already. So it could be four things. Jin, demon, hantu, or mimic. It could be a spirit box. Could be ghost orb. Cannot be dots. Okay. Yeah, so it's either EMF, ghost writing, ghost orb, or spirit box. Oh. We did just get EMF evidence, apparently. I gotta do the candle. Well, you know, I like the haunted mirror a lot. I'm gonna remember it's there. It does kind of run out of uses, though. Because you only have to look into it to find the ghost room, and then that's pretty much it. But it, that's pretty cool, though. I gotta admit. Alright, there. Friend. <laughs> Let me do that, actually. Also, I'm gonna do this, too. Why not? Just for the sake of it. So scary. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go back inside the truck, and we're gonna take a look at the camera, see if we can see anything. Okay. And a lot of people, they they get really. Oh my God, we already <laughs> found the third. Fence. Oh my word, are you joking? It's a hantu. What's what's your deal? Lower temperatures. Okay. This one basically is, is all about speeds and yeah, but it's all about the temperature as well. So just don't go in the garage. <laughs> But that means I'm going to have to use a thermometer if I want to see if I can find the bone or anything. But we have already finished the objective, and it blew out the candle. That that right there is already 60. Actually, it's 90, because I got all four. <laughs> well, here we go! Going back in once again. So I'm just going to be measuring the uh, the temperatures for a little while, see if I can see a, a safe room. It's 6 degrees in here. 16 degrees. <laughs> you are absolutely... Doomed by my trap card, ghost. See, ghost, every room that I go into gets a little bit hotter than you can withstand, and it's simply because I'm so gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, soaps. Ooh, ba balsam. You can put it on your grapes. <laughs> okay, we're just looking for the bone now. I mean, who isn't on a Sunday night? <laughs> Alright, maybe it's over here. I'm not entirely sure. I also gotta try and see if I can find a spot to hide in just in case this ghost decides to play uh, tag your it. And I'm not a big fan of that. It's not a lot of fun to me. 
I usually always lose. You know, I when I was in school, like high school, I uh, I was a little bit tubby, and uh, I wouldn't win any races. <laughs> <laughs> Roll credits. <laughs> All right, so I've checked this section of rooms, but I'm still not entirely sure where the bone is. I I already checked this room, didn't I? Yeah. But I did that check the bathroom here. You know what would suck? I I I bet it is. I bet the bone is actually in the garage. The bone can be anywhere on the map, but I I swear if it's in the garage with the ghost, I'm gonna be very, very upset. It's starting to look like that slowly. That's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna check the side rooms first. If I can, if I can get lucky here, I don't think. I think it's in the garage. You son of a ghost! Oh, fuck you, <laughs> dude! I I woke up today and I was like, you know what? I'm go I'm gonna go play ball with my dog, and my dog's gonna be like barf barf, and he's gonna be so happy, and it's gonna be great. And then I was like, hey, I got a great idea. People had really good reception about the first episode of Faz. I should record another one. And then I hop on and I start playing it and immediately I'm like, fuck this. <laughs> Aw, the EMF. This is a fucking jigsaw puzzle? Like, come on! <laughs> I've been a, a handsome young fella marching his way through the world, hugging bunny rabbits wherever I go. <laughs> you can't give me that damn courtesy <laughs> of a turkey leg. <laughs> like, this is horse shit. I don't know if it spawned, folks. I am actually clueless. I have no idea if it spawned or not. It usually does. There has been times where, like, it'll be, like, stuck in a wall on a piece of furniture. Um, under a carpet was one of the biggest known issues for a long time, but I don't think it's like that anymore. I think they fixed that a long time ago. <laughs> that doesn't solve the case of the missing fucking bone. We definitely didn't check this kitchen area, though. No, I, I don't know. It might be in the basement. I'm gonna go check either way. <laughs> Cause I mean I've already done literally everything. I just need to find the bone and then that's a that's a one hundred percent right there. That's an ace. As the the, the people say. <laughs> this ain't no rainbow six seagull. I am all out of ideas, folks. I have no idea. I, if any of you saw the bone I might even point it out if I see it <laughs> when I'm editing, <laughs> but if any of you saw the bone, please let me know, because I, I have no idea. I don't think it spawned. I mean, I've checked pretty much everywhere. Ugh. Leave me alone, ghost. Leave me alone. Well, you know what? I really do want to keep on looking for it, but I, I, I'm clueless. I've got no idea. It doesn't spawn outside, that's for sure. Whoever was eaten in that house, I I bid you <laughs> adieu. <laughs> All right, well it was a hantu. I'm gonna check and see if any of the cameras might have picked it up. Could check the garage again, but is it worth it? No, it's it's not. The sandy's like no, please, <laughs> not two more bottles. <laughs> Watch that. All right, well you know what? That's that's that. That was super fast. Yeah. And I just completed a third one, and I won again. Every once in a while, I kick gas, and sometimes I take the bread. Please just give me several sandwiches. I will eat them yesterday. And if you do not give me a sandwich, I'll be sad. Boo hoo. I want a sandwich. I want a sandwich. Use your equipment to locate the ghost and find evidence. 
That's that's not a hint. That's an objective. <laughs> that's that is the. In fact, that is the objective. That is literally the sole purpose of what you're trying to do here. What do you expect me to take a frying pan and smack as many fucking walls as I can, hoping to find a spooky dookie? Just imagine the next object to come out is introducing the spooky dookie and the frying pan. <laughs> wow! They took my advice to heart. <laughs> what do you got? Got the intel. Looks like this is going to be a tough one. Oh. We've had reports of violence. And it looks like they left in a hurry. Oh, no, these are the jolly ones. Hey, it's snowing. Look at that. No amount of snow is going to change how how terrifyingly awful this is going to be. <laughs> All right, we're definitely going to be needing to use utilize these cameras here for this. So uh, welcome to one of the new maps. This is called the Maple Lodge Campsite. This is actually one of my favorite ones only because, A, it's got a high quality map, and B, it actually is a ton of fun if not extremely terrifying, because this is the first outside map that they've made, and it actually works extremely well, and as you can tell, it's still very, very terrifying, because now instead of you being inside of a building in tight closed corridors with a ghost trying to murder you, uh, you're outside in an open campground with the same context. <laughs> you know, one day when this game, I, at least I, one can hope when this game gets like a ton of modding uh, support, <laughs> they they really should allow you the ability to make like the ghost like super friendly, and instead of instead of the ghost killing you, it just goes, "Hey, you're doing okay, champ," and gives you a pat on the back, and you're like, "Thanks, phasmophobia ghost, <laughs> no problem." <laughs> wow, that that ghost ain't so bad after all. <laughs> all right, same concept again though. Put candles outside that way you can see better, because goodness gracious, they <laughs> there's no light support in this game. You know, before the mod support has to come the light support. <laughs> And before that, the lightsaber support needs to come in. Everybody, put your votes in for the lightsaber. Crucifix isn't really going to matter that much, simply because it's... it's. You think I'm going to be able to see the crucifix in all this dirt? You are out of your mind. But, oh, <laughs> I forgot the key. Told you, professional ghost hunter. No, it, it gets way too easy to just completely forget <laughs> that the key is even a thing you need. All right, here we go. Oh, oh that's adorable. That's so... That's so you know what? You little cutie pie. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the pain in the ass. That's part of this level. The ghost can be in any one of these tents. You can tear it down like so, and then put it at, uh, put it up. <laughs> you can put it back up wherever and however you'd like to. The problem is, uh, you there is lights. You can turn these lights on, and they do cover like the whole span of the map, mm, kind of. But the generator is all the way through those trees over there. So this game has kind of become like Slender Man. Except, hold on, let me check. Okay, it is going to be a Slender Man. It's going to be a Slender George. <laughs> George be looking very slender today. Ooh, looks like somebody was chilling out by the lake. I, I don't trust it. There's something bubbling underneath it. I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it at all. <laughs> Jason's just waiting in the water. Alright, so that's the generator. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna steal your fucking football. How about that? I'm gonna throw it through your window. Oh, that... What kind of throw was that? They need to program in better throwing ASAP. I kind of do hope they do, though, because, um... Especially if you want to play basketball in the, uh, the beginning area. Y you can't really just choose the speed. And as useful as it actually would be... <laughs> Aw, oh, that's adorable. Aw, oh, look at look at that. They're Christmas nights. They were very bland yellow lights before. Now they're all festive. How adorable. How adorable. How adore. Aw, oh, that's cute. I didn't know you could do that. And I know you can turn on the campfire with uh, with a lighter. But you know what? Let's go back and get that. Alright, so any thoughts on where the ghost might be? Up there? Hopefully not down there. <laughs> Excuse you? E excuse you? I I caught that, you motherfucker. I caught that. He is facing backwards. <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me? I don't recall that door being open. Okay, one camera there. Turn these lights on over here. What the fuck with that head? Oh, man. I, I pick up on things like that where it's just like, excuse me, <laughs> you are an inanimate object and you are refusing to stay that way. <laughs> excuse me, he's rotating his head! Are you seeing this? He is rotating his head very slowly. You motherfucker. Stop it. 
Stop it. Stop stop it right now. Fucking stop it, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna put a camera right here because either you are on a spinning wheel or something is fucking up with you. Maybe you're the ghost, eh? Eh? You're up to something, I know it. Looking kinda sus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the five o'clock news, and this fucking this this snowman's up to something. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not even in this air. Why is it not moving now? It's just staring directly at me. <laughs> you, you motherfucker! You. <laughs> He's just staring at me now. I don't have a mannequin phobia or anything, but that is fucking bizarre. Like, <laughs> what the hell? All right. Well, first things first. This calls for a camera. And this. Wait, hold on. Wait, I don't need two cameras. But I do need the lighter. Where's that? Okay, there's one there, and there is one there. Okay, good. I'll take that, and that. When I come back, you better not be facing the world opposite direction. I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> you stop that shit right now. I'm using the night vision on this camera, like Outlast 2. And one. There's really no specifics here. But, oh, this one's opened up too. Interesting. Okay. Only problem with this map. What if it's ghost orbs? Right? I'm right, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look how fucking awesome that is. That's so beautiful and satisfying. Ugh. Oh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. You know, you, you would swear this is not as horror game as people like to feel. Hold on. Can I? Can I please? Can I actually? Can I cook with them? Oh, come on. Please. You know what you're doing. Okay. I'm gonna close that up for now. Because now we're gonna get to the point where we, we figure out exactly which tent it's coming from. If it's even coming from a tent in the first place. Because that's the thing, it could even come from the bathroom area over here, but who entirely knows, right? And when you're playing on professional, the ghost can actually change locations over time. So it gets even more questionable and more concerning. But for now, I'm going to keep this out. EMF. And if we get anything with the EMF, then we definitely know. You can go back up there. Just until we figure out where the fuck this ghost is. And sometimes the ghost doesn't even have to actually interact with anything in particular. It doesn't even have to interact with the lights or the, the doors to a room or, in this case, the tents or anything. It can stay still if it wants to. And remember, there is a house back there that we can check. And that's why this is one of my favorite maps, is because it's very, it's very adventurous. It's just like, yeah, go out, you're outside, explore. And it is actually a very scary map, too. Excuse you. Excuse you. Excuse you. What is your fucking deal? What is your deal? You fucking... <laughs> it's gonna make me go to the mansion. It's not a mansion, it's a cabin. I knew that. Okay, we're gonna try the parabolic microphone this time, so I know how it works, relatively. It does not measure decibel readings based on your voice, but it does measure them based on the ghost's actions or movements. And if there's something happening in the game in which there's supposed to be sound. So the higher the decibel reading, the better. It can read, like, minor decibel counts, and that doesn't really mean anything. Like that, for example. Where no, something would have happened here if it was in this section. We definitely got a reading over down there. Just gotta keep on looking around and... Oh. Oh. Excuse you. <laughs> I heard a twig snap. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, listen here, you fucking ghost. I've had about enough of your shenanigans. George, you were once a respectable man. Now, now you're not even a man. You're, you're ethereal. <laughs> you have ascended beyond the, the mortal realm. <sighs> Keeps telling me that something is up about this. And that's the thing. It very well could be, or it's just screwing with me. <laughs> I've never really gotten a full, like a full bead on the uh, the parabolic microphone. It, it's kind of, it, it kind of makes sense and it kind of doesn't at the same time. Because, what is it trying to tell you? <laughs> you know, I mean. <laughs> The, the higher the decibel reading, the more, you know, it, it's obvious that there's something going on over there, but I mean, 
I looked at a tent that wasn't even being interacted with at all, and I was like, nothing's happened. So you know what? Now we're, pull we're pulling out the big guns now. We're pulling out the big guns. Okay, 90% sanity. We're doing all right. Man, this ghost is actually eluding us. It's, n it's not doing bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed. But there is a catch. I'm going to make it official really quick. In a moment, though, I want to try something. Is there something up with this tent? No, this tent is hotter than I than I was back in 2018. I might be like, aren't you still? No, th things change. <laughs> oh, I can't imagine a hunt and having to hide inside of a tent and then having the tent door just ripped down by the ghost. Ugh, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. What about this one? No. That is bizarre. Okay. Fuck. All right, we're going to the we're going to the mansion. We're going. It's not a mansion. It's a fucking cabin. <laughs> just having a, a little mental note of my own here. I'm just like, gosh. Huckleberry Jones. Ain't the. Want to run that by me again? I didn't turn this on. Unless that's the lights in the back and it's just bleeding through. No, it touched the salt. Oh, it touched the salt. Uh, Echo 219er, we've got a massive what the fu- Oh, it just threw the fucking ball. It just threw the ball, <laughs> okay. I, I would grab the baseball bat, but my shrimp arms won't allow me, so yeah. I'm gonna take one of those really quickly. What's the objectives really quickly? Great, all of them involve me having to either be chased by the... Yeah, all, almost all of them, actually. I have to see the ghost no matter what. I have to see a ghost event, which just means the ghost shows up and says hello, basically. Or walks at you like we had uh, in the last episode. Um, have a member of the team escape the ghost during a hunt. Okay, that's the bullshit one. That one, you actually have to have the ghost look at you and see you and start following you. And then you have to escape it while it's hunting you. Like... It can begin a hunt and, like, look for you, like, pursue, but it won't actually come after you because it doesn't know where you are. In this context, you have to let it know where you are. <laughs> and then repel the ghost with a smudge stick while it's chasing someone. Okay. That's the same thing. Same context. It has to look at me and chase me. That's so bullshit. Okay, we're not getting all the objectives for sure. That's a fact, because I am not chancing losing all of my equipment just to go ahead and tango with with l george all right we're going to be taking an actual video camera this time because i want to see if there's something over there i i would do it in, instead of the the light but i'd actually rather bring the light as well so you know what no i'm going to put that there and i will bring a stand-up camera but first things first i gotta start bringing some some tools over there some tools of the trade that's the one there we go all right, here we go. Fuck. Where are you? Okay. Yes, you might. Yes, you might be. But have you ever considered in front? And <laughs> I bet you haven't. All right, we're going back in. I wonder if it's because the lights were on. Nah, I don't know. Holy fuck! We got our first evidence. The ghost was behind us. That's the first evidence. I swear. <laughs> This fucking thing, son of a bitch. So we're gonna have no choice but after having to put down the uh, dots over there as well. I am gonna turn the lights on over here. I, I'd have no idea what a ghost orb looks like over here. Literally no idea. I'd have to look very outside the box. Now if we see any silhouettes of a person walking through that, it's easier to see in night vision, but not as easy to see without it. But if you see something, like, flipping out in the dots, then that's definitely a dots ghost, but I'm not entirely sure. So just for now, we're going to keep on adding stuff into the pile. And that's all this game is, really. It's just a giant pile up. You're trying to grab as many different things as you possibly can that might contribute to the ghost location. The only problem is, is how would I know if it's, if it's a fingerprint ghost as well? Like, that's a hard one, right? I don't know, because usually they, like they would touch a like a a tent, a tent door. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm doing a really good job at wording tonight. You guys notice? I know. Uh, please leave a like if I <laughs> and an extra layer of marshmallows on top of that. There you go. 
This is what friendship's all about. Sitting at a campfire, marshmallows, nice winter evening, alone and with no friends. All right, what do you got for me? What do you got for me, ghost? You gonna throw more fucking soccer balls like a person on a tantrum? What? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's time to start looking around with the, with the uh, UV light. Again, though, I have no idea. Oh, it is a fingerprint ghost. I wish I had the camera here. Oh, I dropped it back there, too. Okay, at least we know it's fingerprints for sure. Okay, so we know for a fact that it's a spirit box and a fingerprint ghost. So it can only be one of three evidences. So it could be freezing temperatures. I don't think it is. Ghost writing, okay. It can't be EMF, so who gives a shit where the EMF is? <laughs> And it can't be ghost orbs. Okay, thank fuck. Because I was not going to be able to find ghost orbs out here. Alright. We got dots, ghost writing, or freezing temps. I don't think it's freezing temperatures, because I haven't really seen any, and I've been kind of over there quite a bit. And it's naturally supposed to be cold outside, and I'm not entirely convinced that it's freezing temps either way. It's a little bit bright, but we'd still be able to make something out if it was a dots ghost. But that's the problem. is we, It's a little too bright. Wouldn't be that easy. Hmm. So we already do have a ghost writing book down there. So what that tells me is it should interact with it somewhat soon. If it hasn't already, and that's the thing, it probably has. I hope I didn't just miss something looking away. <laughs> I'm having a great time, by the way, folks. And again, if you guys want to see more Phasmophobia, please let me know for sure. I would absolutely... Oh, oh, it's touching. I'd absolutely love to play some more. I mean, I'm going to be playing it one way or the other. I love this game so much. It's like a little mystery game. You know, it's a little detective game. You're trying to figure out where the ghost is. So if we see anything, it'll look like an... A oh, it's Dots. What was that walking cycle? <laughs> he was like, yeah. Looked like a man having to waddle to the bathroom, keeping his legs between him. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a Dots ghost. That is that. It's a phantom. Ooh, phantom phobia. What do you got for me? Whoever was here must have summoned the ghost with a cursed object. Investigate it, but be careful. Mm. We don't know what it's capable of. We don't, but we do know that we have coffee and microphones and the how's it going introduction that I usually do. Everybody says that Pluto is not a planet because it's actually a dwarf star, technically. Well, I think star is the correct... I know it's a dwarf planet. Don't know if they would just call it a dwarf star, though, but... Uh, you know what I say to that, really? I say the moon's fucking Pluto, and you all can kiss my ass. Alright, Pluto has feelings, and you guys completely objectified it. Pluto has been sending me letters for for years, telling me, please, just speak upon my behalf. I'm, I'm really sad. And I'm like, you know what, fam, I got you. So you know what, Neil deGrasse Tyson? I, I, I love your work. <laughs> just because Pluto isn't tall <laughs> doesn't mean that you gotta make fun of him. Pluto's been doing squats, okay? Pluto ain't fucking around right now. Hey, you know, you know what? This is true. In one of the letters that Pluto sent me, they they said, you know what? Next time I see Neil deGrasse, I'm gonna challenge him to a weightlifting contest, and uh, let's see how much he can bench, bro. And uh, I was like, you go, Pluto, you go. <laughs> Rock on, crazy bro. <laughs> you know, I I did say that I would just skip the walking cycle and whatnot, but I actually have a really important question. Um, when the ghost is hunting you, you know, typically like the door closes, and you know, you're, you're trapped, and and shit be spooky. There's a window. Just thought to make that apparent. Yeah, sure, you might hurt yourself real bad, but at least you won't be killed by the ghost. <laughs> I mean, there's a you might be killed by the impact, but it doesn't mean that you won't. You know, you'll, you'll survive the ghost for sure. All right, folks, we're back at it again. Let me tell you. So we're back on Tanglewood, of course. This, this is a classic. It's it's a nice small map, and you know what? It, it'll add an extra layer of, of content to the video. There's a lot of layers. We're gonna grab some salt and we're gonna start going ahead and making a pathway like we usually do again. Okay, those rooms are already closed. Good. Let's put one there. Turn these on. And... Damn it, it's in the basement again. I hate when that happens. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. You want your way? Fine! Okay. I see that. I that wasn't there before. Who else picked up on that? It's another one though. Another one. All right, fine. So I I am gonna actually check that uh that 
and mirror really quickly, but first things first, we're just going to set up a little bit, you know? Look nice and pretty. And sometimes I actually like not putting it on a tripod because you can actually, like... I'm going to do this, for example. You guys are going to love this. Watch. You can put it inside bookshelves or on that shelf over there if you want to, but we're going to put it in here for now. And yeah, we'll, we'll leave the door open. Why not? There. There, now. Now we're cooking. Cooking with chocolate bars. Oh, oh, how intriguing. Okay, interesting. If I bring it outside, it stops working, which, I mean, that's fair. That makes sense. If I'm going to use it, I have to be clever. I have to be clever for sure. I'll have to go into a room that I know I'm going to be safe <laughs> and then use it. Because uh, it dropped me down to 30% sanity before. That was, that was spooky. You know what? We're just going to do it. I'll run into the garage if things go spicy. Interesting. It's in there. This is awkward.